Hi everyone, I got a quick studio update here for you. This is a uh, piece that's still almost done. The two smoke clouds aren't actually uh, pinned in there. I'm just trying to hold it in the light. You see there's a blood splatter. I got some foliage around the base. Uh, so this is for client PM. I just need to work on the uh, colors of the smoke clouds and then I'll get them glued in. Uh, but that's what they're basically going to do. Be like that. And then for client BL, these are my aesthetic spores, and I originally did them with a tan color, came in with a yellow, and then stippled on a white, and they look like crazy eggs to me. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to come back and you're going to try a purple scheme, and uh, I think that'll work a lot better. So, eggs gone, purple's coming in. And for client double R, this is another custom hobbit hole, or halfling home. And um, this one is going to be a two-part piece that has an in on the top. So this is the in, and it's going to sit raised up on uh, little pillars like that. And then here, right in this corner, I'm going to make a staircase coming up to a platform. Another staircase up to a platform that will connect. See, it says platform there, connect to there. So it'll just be a a double staircase out this way and then it'll be attached here and uh, the platform will come out over here and then it'll be able to all disconnect properly and obviously this roof will be able to come off it's a, it's a square roof so it can be placed um, either way I just got it uh, done, I j just got this project uh, two days ago or the other day Got the hardboard cut out, got the base glued on, and then yesterday this is how far I got, so, uh, while working on some other projects. Uh, I was able to get a little bit of the balsa inside of here. I got the uh, trim done. I was actually not, I decided to not put a window here because I wanted to be able to see all the way through on this one. Because, let's see, I got the, got the back windows going on. And... This will be magnetized, but I don't have the big magnets right now, so the roof will lift off, and I'm going to have a full interior. And just for a client, um, Double R will get back to me on this. This is the uh, kind of idea I was going with. This is going to be a, a little bedroom. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to do this one hand. A little bedroom there, um, something like this. Then like a little storage piece there. And then I stuck I stuck a few minis in here. There was quite a few quite a bit of room to get there. I can actually shift that guy over a little bit. And there's room, you know, for a, a couple of different spaces inside. Uh, I was going to have an interior um, staircase up into the uh, building upstairs, but then it was hard to make the top just as big as this bottom. So. Um, just the way the hill, the hill came. This is like, this is almost max, maximum size. Like, if he was any bigger, I wouldn't be able to be like uh, support him on this uh, top layer when it came off and everything. So, I tried a, few, a couple different sizes. Uh, the original base I cut out was I think nine by eight, and this one is a six by seven. So. Uh, I just kept trying different sizes and working it out, and that was the best size that worked out. So I'll be getting all the uh, the wood and uh, um, decorative piece on the side here and everything all done up today. And I got to put some polyfiller on. I'm going to get the magnets today so I can magnetize it and make sure it works out really well. Uh, there will be a seam, but I'm going to try to hide the seam as much as I can with foliage. And there'll be a lot of stuff going on, so hopefully you just don't look. And no matter what, if you want to, uh, if you want to get to an interior, you're going to have to have a seam. So that is that is a custom halfling home that I've been doing, and I'm finishing up a set of zombie models for client uh, PM and his bio syndrome game. Working on some tau terrain today. And I need to do some uh, business stuff. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll have more videos to come. 
You can also shoot me an email at info at greenleaftraining.com if you have any questions or want to talk about getting a piece of screen build. Thanks.